Have you ever seen anything quite as sleek as the Sharp Nemesis NXT? This is an incredible kit aircraft for many reasons, but the main one is speed. It's been setting speed records since its creation in 2004 and first air races in 2006. It has set heat and qualifying speed records in racing, and it's even the fastest electric aircraft ever. More on that coming up. The kit as designed is powered by a Lycomin Thunderbolt six cylinder engine. So here are some of the amazing achievements at the Reno Air Races. Debuting in 2006 and winning the Reno Gold Sports Clash, then winning a whole host of things in 2007, including a Reno qualifying record of 386.9 miles per hour. Then the big one came in 2008 where they qualified at 409 miles per hour. This was the first time a 400 mile an hour barrier had been broken in this sports class. Speeds of over 400 miles per hour are usually turned in by ultimate class racing aircraft. They won quite a lot of things in 2008, totaling up to 14 total gold national championships, a record in the history of air racing. They also set the C1B 3km speed record of 356 miles per hour, breaking a 19 year old record. And again, in 2009, they also set the qualifying record at 412.5 miles per hour and winning the gold race record 407 miles per hour, totaling 15 total national championships for the Nemesis. Incredible. John Sharp, the designer, announced his retirement from pylon racing on August the 3rd, 2011, and what a legacy he has left. He is the pilot with the highest number of wins in the history of racing. The final flight of the Nemesis NXT was on the 23rd of June, 2018, and is now proudly displayed in the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. It is possible to track down the odd NXT kit on the used aircraft market, though not very many were made, and they are quite hard to find. It does look like the asking price would be around 250,000 US dollars if you could find one though. Just bear in mind, it is a performance machine and labor intensive to fly. Directional stability is poor, so continued effort is required to keep from side slipping. Also, with such a big nose, it's a challenge to taxi and to land. Visibility is poor and its speed means it requires a decent runway length. However, all that did not put off Rolls-Royce and Electroflight, who teamed up to turn one of these kits into the fastest electric powered aircraft ever, setting five world records at the end of 2021. Their goal was not just to break, but to smash the existing 213 mile per hour electric aircraft record, which was previously set by the extra 330 LE in 2017. They wanted to break the 300 mile an hour barrier. They spent three months looking for a Nemesis MXT kit and found kit number 10 in France. They turned this kit into a 335 horsepower electric monster with a cutting edge powertrain that can drain a 400 kilowatt battery in just eight minutes of high performance power delivery. That's enough to power 250 homes. They created the Spirit of Innovation, styled after the Supermarine S6B aircraft that won the Snyder Trophy three years in a row, powered by a Rolls-Royce engine back in 1929. The Spirit of Innovation has a range of 180 miles in economy mode, but who's flying it in economy mode? While setting speed records, it would use up its batteries in just eight to 15 minutes. At the Ministry of Defence's Boscombe Down in Wiltshire, England, here are the records that it set. For the three kilometre record, they did indeed smash that current record, setting it at 345.4 miles per hour, flown by Phil O'Dell. For the 15 kilometre record, they set 330 miles per hour, flown by Steve Jones. And Steve Jones also set the time to climb record, climbing 3,000 metres in just 202 seconds. Such a speed machine needs a long runway such as the one at Boscombe Down and needing 100 to 110 miles an hour airspeed for takeoff and touchdown. And it also needs a steep approach on final due to the poor front visibility thanks to the monstrously big engine. The main objective of this endeavor was to break the electric aircraft speed records by a big margin. And we can safely say that they managed that. The aim though was to show what the future of aviation has in store in the third age, the electric age pioneering what electric power can offer. 
The electric engine is impressive, though not as fast as the piston counterparts. They say it is quite different in the fact that it's very smooth. It feels more like a jet than a propeller powered aircraft. I encourage you to watch the Rolls Royce video on this endeavor. It was quite a challenge and a challenge that they successfully succeeded in. I'll leave links in the description below. So what are your thoughts on the future of electric aircraft? Clearly the main challenge at the moment is the battery capacity. I'd like to see some big leaps in distance or endurance. Once we start to get flight times of around four hours and cruise speeds of about 100 miles per hour and crucially a recharge cost at a fraction of today's fuel costs, I think we'll really start to see electric aircraft find a place in the market. I'd like to take this opportunity just to say thanks to those of you who have sent me a little bit of money via the super thanks. It really does help me to keep making informative videos for you. If you want to send a little donation, the link is here. Also, if you want to be involved with the growth of this channel or need help buying or selling your aircraft, please visit my Patreon, link below. If you're interested in other speedy composite aircraft, then check out these videos here. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Pilot Mike.